Hi, welcome to my channel and welcome to the weekly overall reading for everyone. This is from May 6th to the 13th and I wanted to do this reading right now because so much is coming through. I'm doing it a little bit early because I feel like the energy is picking up. Things are moving quickly, coming in quickly. There's a lot to do and for some reason, and this is so strange, um, I have to take, you have I'm barefoot right now and it was like I almost have to feel the floor beneath me. So there may be moments where you really need to ground yourself, like almost remember your place in it all. It's a time of prioritizing all you have to do, whether you have to write literally a list of to-do lists or prioritize what's most important to you because there's quicker movement, things are moving, you want to bring this new order in to your life and what you're doing and know your place in it all and remain grounded. So almost like I'm getting the image of like, remember in Pretty Woman when Richard Gere, the character, was all stressed out and she told him to take off his shoes and walk in the grass? Like ground yourself, like no matter what's going on, take a moment, whether it's to breathe, make a to-do list, um, know your place in it all and prioritize what's most important to you. What do you need to get done? I think there's such an influx, an influx of information, an influx of movement. I mean, it's amazing. Like even like um, on your phone, you get those pings all the time of the news coming in. So much is going on around us. It's very easy to be pulled in a million directions where you don't even know which way you want to go. And we're getting a lot about going um, in line with your own heart compass. And so when you're getting all these pulls in so many directions, you do need to ground yourself, know your point of center and act from there. Remain focused on what is the most important and prioritize what you want to be filling your days with. Um, cause there's a lot going on and there's a lot of movement and, um, a lot of things coming in. So that was my message that I definitely, that's why I had no plans of doing this weekly right now. I actually wanted to do it much later. Um, today, but because that came through, I quickly wanted to get that on because I think it's important. I'm probably going to reflect on that myself next week. And you could possibly be feeling that energy right now starting to come in where there's more to do and um, you just need to stay focused and grounded. I mean, I'm literally barefoot right now and I'm finding in the midst of doing a gazillion things, I do have to take a moment to be like, Okay, what was it next that I had to do? It's almost like being pulled in so many directions. You have to come back to center and know what is best for you right now to do and focus on. So there's a lot of fast movement, I think. Um, the speed is picking up. And uh, we're working on a lot of things and a lot of things are coming at us. So just remain in your point of center, your heart, what you prioritize, what's more meaningful and important for you to do almost on a moment to moment basis. Um, check in with yourself. Um, what do you need to focus on right now? What do you need to do right now? And um, what you can postpone until a little bit later. And you'll help find that helps just to tune into yourself. Okay. So this is for the 6th to the 13th for everyone um, who happens to find this video. What is our journey next week? May to the 13th second week in May, what, ooh, ooh, what's it going to be like for us? Okay, this is the first card that definitely wanted to come out. Yep, it's a heavy burden. Remember when I said there's a lot going on? Um, there's a lot to do, and I feel like it's all on you, like only you can do it. So you are going to have to prioritize. Ooh. Let's see what else is coming in. Ah, strength. We have a lot of inner strength. We're in line with our inner strength here. Let's see what else is coming out so it will give it more meaning. But that burden is not surprising when I said so much is coming in. There's a lot to do. And I think it's something you can't even delegate. I know that card often is like what you can give to others. I don't think you can give it to others. So you're going to have to prioritize your time because it is all on you. That's what I'm picking up from this reading. Like it's the only things you can do. The moon. I think with the strength and the moon, I think it's showing that you have the strength to do all this. Look at this, your divinely God. Look at all this major arcana. Jeez, you have the strength, you have the moon, and you have um, high priestess. Oh my God, this is really incredible. What is this strength and what's what are we uncovering with our divine intuition, our divine guidance? I think that's what we need to trust and follow with all this that's weighing on our shoulders that we have to do. We're going to have to 
<laughs> there is so much going on here. Like I said, what I'm just picking up from this, this is because this is really amazing what's happening here. I think, um, you know, I keep on saying we're, we're focusing in on our divine intuition. We're following our divine guidance more. Um, we're uncovering a lot of what uh, truly gives us meaning and is in line with our inner core, our inner guidance, and we're following that. There's tremendous strength here and inner strength that we have that's been uncovered within ourselves. And um, I also think the overall thing, the action card here is this burden. I mean, this is what we're going to feel like. There's a lot on our shoulders. There's a lot that we have to carry. We're going to have to dive deep into our divine guidance and our inner strength and provide ourselves almost, what I'm getting intuitively is provide some rest for ourselves in between. Remember when I said in between all the work and things that you're doing, the message that came through literally was to make sure that you take moments to ground yourself and align yourself. Um, so whether it's to your higher self or within your inner self, uh, just tap into that because that's your hidden strengths almost is a sandwich between being divinely intuitive, remain in your inner core of strength to get through all that you're carrying right now and all you have to do and take those rests in between um, with all that you have to do and accomplish. This is the message that's coming through and I think that's the key thing is to remain divinely connected upwards, you know, to divinely to spirit, your inner, your guidance, divine guidance, and then also your inner core. You have new strength. You have new know-how of how to do this and handle this. And the two cards, are you ready for this? Oh my God. I, in my head, which I didn't have a chance to vocalize, was I was asking for it. So what are we going to feel like next week? And are you ready for this? This is pretty amazing. We're going to feel like the nine of pentacles, which I, is my favorite card practically in the deck. And victory, I mean, the Six of Wands. I mean, this is so amazing. So what this is saying to me is you're going to be victorious in feeling like this Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles, this is an individual. You're standing alone, divinely, um, you know, aligned with divine guidance, creating your own abundance, and it's all on you. She's individual. She's standing alone in this card. So like I was picking up, this is on you. You can't really delegate it to other people because this success of all of this, this success is you individually making this happen. So, um, like I said, a lot's coming in. There's a lot to do. You're going to have to prioritize. You're going to tap into your inner strength to do all this and uncovering all your divine guidance and intuition is leading you correctly. It's a positive thing to be burdened like this. It's probably things that you want to accomplish, that you want to, uh, you know, deal with. And look, there's victory here. You can't get that. There's victory in whatever you're doing, whatever you're working on. You're creating this new sense of abundance. True abundance has been coming forward because it's in line. Uh, you've uncovered your inner strengths. Um, you're going forward with what you truly want, what you're divinely connected to. Just make sure to take some rest. And breaks in between because you're trying to accomplish quite a lot and um, you know take those moments like I said take your shoes off and walk and ground yourself but there's great victory here and you're making it happen for yourself I love this I love 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 this this is the movement that I'm feeling um, when I sat down that's why I wanted to do this message um, everything you're carrying it's going to be victorious keep going just remain um, you know keep in touch with your own reserves you know if you need to take a rest or a break or something look at this adjacent possibilities are opening up this might be the divine connection as the high priestess you're tapping into new adjacent possibilities um, this could be expanding your world, what you're working on. You know, maybe you started off with eight wands, nine wands. Now you're grabbing all the wands and going. I mean, there are things coming in here. Um, there's a lot of projects, offers, opportunities that are coming in. This has been coming in a lot. Um, new ideas, new passions, new ways to go, new ways to expand. Things as you're divinely connected, as you tap into that divine um, knowledge of the universe almost it's like more and more adjacent doors open when you look at this it's like you could be focused in on just one door and then all of a sudden it's like your intuition or guidance uh, is opening up all these adjacent doors for you suddenly and you're like oh my god I can go through this door oh I can go through this door and so that's what I was talking about and that was the energy I was picking up too where it's like okay this is great but now if all these doors open up you're still standing over here it's like 
it's almost overwhelming in the sense like, oh my God, you're tapping in so strongly. You're tapping into your uh, capabilities so much. You want to accomplish so much. You can be victorious and abundance and all this. But the thing is, you still have to ground yourself and then still be calm. You can't get overexcited. You can't overextend yourself. You can't start going, darting through five doors at once. You're going to have to um, take a, a rest and focus. You know, what's your priority? What do you want to handle? If you're looking at all the stuff, what's first to lay down a couple of those wands if you want to look at it at that sense? Whatever, but you're going to figure it out. This is positive. This is amazing, especially with the crowning cards of being victorious, standing here with your abundance. You're creating this abundance for yourself. All these adjacent possibilities could be opening up. My advice is to email yourself all the possibilities as they come in because you could be really divinely guided and get all of this influx of ideas and projects and write it down for yourself because you can't conquer all of them in the next five minutes and you don't want to be overwhelmed by them, but you still want to respect them. So write them down, write what you need to accomplish, write whatever brain fart you have or any ideas you have or any other directions you have. And then you can always, you know, make a list of what you can do step by step um prioritize because you're really tapped in and a lot could be coming in and that's what i was picking up look at this we got walking away this is really interesting i don't know what this walking away is um we could be walking away and into um better things right now we could be um walking away from some possibilities and walking towards others Oops, what's this other card this one Oh, this is the clarifier. Holy crap, Ola. When I saw this walking away, I was like, what is this card? Because um, this makes no sense with the positivity and the adjacent possibilities. Like, what the heck was this? Walking away. And look what came out to clarify. Walking away from financial constraints. You're walking away from financial constraints. And look at this. You're victorious and creating abundance. I mean, this can't get more clear that you're walking right towards this field of abundance right now, this is amazing. You're walking away from financial constraints. So whatever that was showing up in your world, whether whoever you were working with in partnerships and you know any kind of financial constraints, you're walking away from that. You're, and here she is, here you are in this field of abundance, nine of pentacles and victorious. These are the same messages in two different decks and two different cards. Walking away from financial constraints and here victorious and standing in a field of abundance. This is freaking amazing. And it's through these adjacent possibilities. So you probably walked away from what was constricting you financially and walking into all these doors of new possibilities and everything else. And that's what you're suddenly burdened by. It's like th these positive, uh, you know, positive things that can create this abundance it's just so much though it's so good but um you know take those rests in between and prioritize prioritize because um you're walking right into you're going to be victorious in this field of abundance here that is for sure i don't even know what to do now this is so positive and this is what i was um picking up to do Let's just get some messages from heaven. What do they want to tell us for the week from 6th to the 13th for everyone as we're walking towards fields of abundance here, being victorious. So whatever you're working on, keep going. And you're so divinely connected and tapped in and you've uncovered your inner strength. And look at this card, which I hardly ever get. Be creative. Look for ways to build, grow, and manifest. You can't make this up. Be creative, look for ways to build, grow, and manifest, and that's exactly what we're doing. That's exactly what we're doing. We're walking away from these financial constraints, right through these adjacent doors of possibilities, being creative, looking for ways to build, grow, and manifest. That's why we're kind of burning right now, because we've uncovered all our inner strengths, and we've uncovered our divine intuition that's guiding us right to these new fields of abundance being victorious with these adjacent possibilities and spirit is saying and supporting us to be creative go forward keep going look for ways to build grow and manifest they're helping you too they're probably giving you signs symbols messages pushing you oh, doors are opening we've got door to spirit a million times in different readings uh, very recently 
um, you along with them are creative. You know, you can't sit on the couch. You have to literally go through these doors and do the work. You know, you're literally doing the work and tapping in on your own reserves. But you're remaining very intuitive. And this is helping you to grow and build and manifest. And they're applauding those efforts that you're doing. So no spirit is along with you while you're doing this, like lugging along these um, things. How powerful. Just remember to rest when you need and prioritize. Even if you just have to, you know what this reminds me of when you think back, think for a minute um, before you tackle your day in your mind, what do you want to do next? What's your plan of action? Even if you're not literally writing it down, take a moment to just close your eyes for a second and be like, okay, let me do this, then this, then this, then this, you know, because I am picking up, it's on you. You know, here you have one person holding all these, here you're one person in the field of abundance. It is on you. You will be victorious. Um... Remain divinely connected and there are adjacent possibilities and things opening up and you're definitely walking away from these financial constraints. So welcome in the abundance. Woohoo! I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And this has been coming up again and again and again. Let's end it with a um, guardian angel message. Just one guardian angel message and then we'll call it a day. But what a fabulous week and keep going. Oh my, keep going. Let's see. Is this one? No way. You can't make this up. Breakthrough. 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 Oh, my gosh. How many beautiful heartfelt wishes have been crushed by fear? How many times has society's voice of disapproval cast a shadow on your dreams? It is time to break free of these false beliefs and realize your dreams. Allow your heart to guide you. Trust your inner guidance. The time is right. I have chills all over my body. You cannot make this up. This is completely, this is the adjacent possibilities. This is the victory that you have in the fields of abundance that you created, that you've been working hard for, that you're divinely connected to. This is what they're applauding now to build, grow, manifest. It's breakthrough time. Walk through those adjacent possibilities. You're walking away from financial constraints. It's breakthrough time. This is heartfelt wishes are coming true. This is the most beautiful card that I could almost cry because I don't think this card has ever come through and I've used these cards so many times. So I want to stress to you the significance of pulling this card right now. How many beautiful heartfelt wishes have been crushed by fear? How many times has society's voice of disapproval cast a shadow on your dreams? It is time to break free of these false beliefs and realize your dreams. Allow your heart to guide you. Trust your inner guidance. The time is right. I'm going to end it there. Have a fabulous week of May 6th to the 13th. Be victorious. Keep going. Have a fabulous week. It couldn't get a better reading. Take care. Bye.